take a deeper look at the stubby. So there's a lot of stubbies out there. When you pick up any Quadratech magazine, you're gonna see a lot of choices, which is great. Everybody should get exactly what they want. But I wanna let you know exactly what we're offering in ours, because they can start to blend together. Now what you're getting for starters is China pricing, 100% made in the US. That's huge. You're not gonna see that on a lot of products from Fab Fours, but in the stubby's case, it's really an entry product that we want to expose a much bigger piece of the market to our brand. And it's a little bit of a gatekeeper into the rest of all these goodies. So it is all 316s construction. And the D-ring shackle mount toe hooks are three quarter inch. So this stuff is all cut in house, super clean, and the ability to have both, you know. So for self-recovery, mount any winch, small frame, we're showing the Warren Xeon 12,000 with synthetic and a whole accoutrement of Warren accessories. So you've got the Sidewinder and Hyperlink, really trick, all billet shackles. I mean, this is custom as you can get on these. All the way down to your $8 typical shackle. So you can use these if you have to go out or on a snatch block for self-recovery or toe straps, or if you're an anchor point, somebody's hooking to you. So that gives you some of the cool versatility, not to mention just throwing it right on the hook if you need a quick action. This is shown with the factory fogs. It is also designed to mount cube or dually lights, any of the two by two size ones. So it's available with or without a pre-runner. This is inch and three quarter, 120 wall tubing. It's the only configuration comes in or it's just with none of that. If you want a real clean, low cost study. So there she is. She sees what you get, clean, simple, frame width, integrating the lines into our fenders or anyone else's. If you so choose, some will cut off some of these frame supports just to keep it a little higher and tighter, cleaner looking approach. We wanted to make sure you don't have to do that. So it's your choice as the consumer, but she's a perfect fit to go with any style build from mild to wild. So important part to any Jeep build but one of the more complicated ones from us is the fender systems because it's very integrated. Unlike a bumper where what you see is what you get, pick a skew, you have to kind of build your own adventure. All of them, however, start with the base fender system. So the base is just keeping it super tight. You can actually run nothing on it. It just comes with a skin that gives you a color change option. It shows all that tire, but a lot of laws require that you have some sort of coverage and quite frankly, people don't like getting sprayed all the time anyways. This has our OE light fender. And one of the things so trick about ours is how we pulled off integrating this shape. It's very hard in fabricated sheet metal to get such a clean fit to such a rounded factory light. Now on top of the fender itself has an integrated skin. This comes with the part. Has a couple purposes. One, you can use that to splash some color from the Jeep onto the flare system without having to color match the whole thing. Keep the strong protective black that we supply it with. But go ahead, if your Jeep's red, make this red, make it blue, make it white. It's a pretty cool way to do that. As well as use that as a bit of a wear part. I was standing on this just to get up on top of our rack to deal with the tent and everything. So it's nice to be able to do that knowing if you had to, you could just repaint the skin. And then you got kind of a star of the show, the gill box. This accessory is truly that. It's an accessory to the system. These have purpose. This is to look cool. So it comes with mounts for integrated rock lights. And with RGBs these days, you know, you can have this on your phone, change it from red to blue to green. Really cool to splash the color through there and then just tie the whole system. So instead of having this hardened edge there, it just comes right back into the door system. So this Gladiator, beastly build, man. I mean, the plan was to take it out to Moab this year for Easter Jeep, and we swore to never go back there again without tons under it. So she's got them. These are the ultimate 60s from Spicer. That is the way to go. You know, one ton axle swaps, you can get junkyard 60s from Super Duties, from old Chevys, run 14 bolts, whatever. But direct bolt in sure makes life easy. The way they've done with all the bracketry already ready to go. Now on top of that, to run 40 inch tall tires with lockers, steering gets tough. And PSC hooked us up with their hydraulic assist steering. Pretty early on these, because it's got to tie into the orbital box. 
But man, once you have ram assist, you cannot go back. The ability to steer with one finger when you're aired down in the rocks is huge. Now to keep this thing up in the air over these 40s, it's a Skyjacker four to six inch adjustable coil over suspension kit. Pretty sick with their Fox shock upgrade. That's the way to go, man. I mean, it's sweet to be able to change that, particularly when you're gonna have different amounts of weights and accessories, both in the original build, ongoing accessories, or even just overloading it for a certain trip. So being able to use a spanner wrench and dial in the coils is pretty sweet to pull another inch up or down as needed. So you have it, it's bomber built, four link front suspension from Skyjacker, bomber axles, ultimate 60, with Ram Assist. It does not get any better than that. Unless you've been living under a rock, Mickey Thompson's already got you with their marketing. The Baja Boss is their sickest new tire. So they rolled this out at SEMA. They have all sizes, but it's pretty cool to see the big tire players coming out in big sizes like this. So it's a 40, I believe 13, 5, 17 for us. And I know that's a little conservative in the Fab Fours world, but the overlanding theme of this thing, it was the perfect fit to run a true race line beadlock. We coated the ring to match some of our other accents. And that's just a solid, general, all around wheel and tire combo. Beadlock to keep you seated when you're aired down really low. Big old 40 inch rubber for all the clearance you might need and the reliable brand of Mickey Thompson. By Fab Four's tube doors, kind of what you see is what you get. It's coming with all the craftsmanship and quality you expect from Fab Fours and a little bit of our trick design nature. I mean, the forming that we've done around the sheet metal integrated to the inch and a half 065 wall tubing definitely gives it its own personality. But the real claim to fame is the lack of rattle. I mean, there's a lot of cheaper doors out there on the market. But what we've pulled off with the adjustability and the integrated bulb seal is no rattling super solid trust me you don't have to experience it take my word for it a cheap door will rattle you'll have bungee cords holding this stuff together because it will drive you crazy when you just want to roll with the doors off ours not gonna have that problem solid every time the rear bumper on the gladiator is definitely my pride and joy i mean you knew right when this thing came out it was going to be overland rack dealing with this back end and that is one of the first thing the hardcore guys out there were talking smack about, it's the overhang angle. But you know what? I've had a lot of rigs over the years that have overhang. Had a lot of rigs with long wheelbase. It's fine if you protect it. You can drag over anything. So you're gonna get advantages to this length in cargo capacity, ability to go longer distances, but you do gotta drag this guy over some obstacles. So we made sure to keep this totally robust integrate right back into the factory frame, and then just having as cool a system as we could. So the step system integrated allows you to get up to work on tents, the top of the rack, even just accessing the bed. It's got a color plate that you can bolt in. It will come black, but it's another good way to splash color inexpensively onto the product. And then we made it multi-piece, including the bracketry and D-rings for the actual purpose of color match. You know, one of the cool things about the factory Rubicon rear is the red toe hooks. I mean, everybody likes a little bit of that flare that's giving you the off-road. We didn't do it here, but that's why this piece is unique to the system and bolts in first. This whole piece could be red, so you'd have an integrated hook and shackle mount that's red. We use the rigid radiance, really cool peeking through there, but each one of these pieces could actually be a different color depending on how wild the build gets. It's everything you need from robust, receiver compatible, sensor compatible, integrated steps, full weight bearing in the whole corner. This is a rear bumper worth getting. I think it's safe to say the star of the show here is the Overland Rack. I mean, that's something that the Gladiator really lend itself to having a bed system. I mean, once you knew you were gonna be carrying cargo, may as well load her up. And the Overland guys were singing to the skies because the prayers were answered. The way ours works, it had to be totally robust. No rattling side to side. to be able to carry as much weight as you were willing to high on the rig. So we have it in two configurations, either just 
from the bed coverage, which would still allow you to put a tent on top, have the multiple layers, all the accessory bolting together, or go with the extension and have the full top coverage. Pretty awesome, you know, and that's gonna come with these A-pillar bars to support the front end of this and tie it right into the cow, or this can integrate with our Vical, a different product line that has a full windshield surround. Either way, we didn't wanna just go with a full cantilever up here tie this weight back in so you can walk all over it. You can stick your spare tire up here, worry-free. And in this case, it allows you to go to an even bigger tent. This is the big Smitty built for the family. And you can just see, we started slapping accessories on here. Kind of what we had laying around the shop between fire extinguishers, high lift jack, the roto packs. But the beauty of something like this, it's whatever floats your boat, whatever hobbies you're into. Rock climbing, fine, you have spools of rope kayaking, put those integrated mounts on top. You know, it's just whatever comes to mind. So we gave you some base patterns to use for bolting together, but we imagine people are gonna just drill this thing. Drill it the way you want it to, use tube clamps, whatever makes sense. We gave a whole blank palette for you to come up with any sort of Mount to come to mind. We think we drilled and tapped it here for more of a Drake style fire extinguisher mount. But really the possibilities are endless. Holes, 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 lots of places to strap or bolt to. The name of the game in overlanding is being prepared. And that's kind of what draws in the whole overlanding rack is the ability to just haul more and more and more stuff. So once you get to camp, you want to be able to just splay out with everything. In this case, we've got a 23-0 awning. This thing is super trick because you can actually use it quickly with no supporting poles at all, which is awesome under its own tension. Or if it's windy conditions and you've set up for a little bit longer, use the poles and the stakes. But it's awesome for providing, I think it's 270 degree shade. Really trick. That Rockford Fosgate speakers, you might not need that to survive, but it's pretty awesome, especially going to the beach or something or just taking lunch break out on the trail, having external speakers. Now from the real utility, we've got a combination here. So we're running the decked storage system with the slide out trays, really cool. Carry a ton of gear in here, keeping them out of the weather. Two drawer system. And then on top of that, we use the cargo glide system. Now we have, which aren't shown here right now, a Smitty built generator and a refrigeration system. And it's pretty cool with the push of a button, you can actually extend this all the way out, which gives you a lot of access to things like the fridge and getting to the side where you might not want to be reaching over the wheel well. Not to mention once you're in camp, it's just cool to have this many more options for things to hang stuff off of, tie things to. That's what it's all about. Cooking a good dinner, a little peach cobbler in the old uh, Dutch oven. So that's overlanding one-on-one. Things like the Max Track, self-recovery where you put these down if you're on soft ground. We've got some Daystar cam cans, either to be used for holding fuel or in our case, it's one of the ones that looks like a fuel cell, but actually has just storage inside. You can put trinkets, recovery ropes, little things like that. High lift jack, it just goes on and on. I mean, we've really just got started. These are kind of like the fundamental essentials. The next thing is basically unloading that closet you have in the garage for camping getting all that gear in here as well. Then you're ready for a good weekend.